What's going on, everybody? How are everybody feeling on this beautiful Tuesday morning? My name is Aquan Peter Kidd. It's another episode of Misunderstood. It's Tuesday. How y'all feeling so far? Y'all feeling tired yet? You know, sometimes, sometimes it takes about the middle of the week to start to feel, you know, a little bit of body fatigue. You know, you get up, you go to work, and depends on what job you got, you, you know, you get tired out and everything. By the time Thursday here, it's like, man, my body broke down. Then there's times where you feel mentally and phys- physically exhausted by Tuesday. Hmm. And then you get you get those times, you know what I mean, where you just you just feel like, uh, like just nasty. And it's only a Tuesday, you know, including today, four more days to go for the you know for the weekend. <laughs> but the good thing about the good thing about what what I'm doing right now with with the podcast is that every day something is, is interesting when you're when you're dealing with sports. Every day something something is is interesting. Every day, you know, even even Monday night, not so much going on Monday night. Some things to talk about, but not so much going on for Monday for on on a Monday night. What I am going to do is use that opportunity to recap over the weekend, because the 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 big flaw of trying to do a park of trying to do a podcast where you got big games like like play your football games on Saturday and Sunday is some, sometimes by the time you get to the microphone you forget what happened on Saturday you know you forget what happened on Saturday i felt like i dealt with the same issue during the um the wild card weekend that my mind is so fascinated on the last thing i saw which is which is the sunday night game that I'm forgetting what happened on Saturday, and I felt I, I felt that way now. Yesterday's yesterday's episode, I was so hyped up on that um 49ers Cowboys game, basically because not only because it was a really good game, it was the last game I saw. You know, I left a lot of details out of the playoffs. That's pretty important. I mentioned that the that the Chiefs had beat the Jags. I, did, I f- forgot to mention that Patrick Mahomes got a a high sp- sprained ankle injury. You know, like he's hurt. It's not a hundred percent, and he about to go up against Joe Burrow and these bagels. Less than a hundred percent. That's kind of worrisome because he was not able to beat Joe Burrow and these bagels. What he was 100%. He's 0-3, including the playoffs. 0-3. You know? Um, yeah, it's, it's a good time to recap over the weekend. Some things that I miss. Even the Cowboys 49ers game, I miss some things on that too. I miss some things on that. You know, so fascinated on the defense and, and like... The Cowboys losing that I miss I miss some things from that but we'll get to we'll get to that in a bit right now Joe Burrow I said in um yesterday's episode I think it's about time to start talking about Joe Burrow like he's like he's top two quarterback in the league because even while I'm trying to make a case for Joe Burrow at the same time I'm like well. I gotta put Lamar Jackson over him. I gotta put, I gotta put um Josh Allen over him still. I forgot about Jalen Hurts. Then I got, then I was like, well yeah, I, I do gotta put Jalen Hurts over him. I said Lamar Jackson in my mind. I said Lamar Jackson before I said before I said Jalen Hurts, and and then it got to a point when I was like, wait, why? Why Lamar Jackson? Because he because he knows how to he knows how to throw and run. Okay. He also, I he also don't play four seasons because he's always hurt. Josh Allen, he he's a turnover machine. The only person I can really think of that's over Joe Burrow is Patrick Mahomes. Then I had to stop and think, why? He never beat Joe Burrow, including the playoffs. Including the playoffs, and the playoff game that he lost to, he lost to. Against Joe Burrow, 
told by Patrick Mahomes here was an AFC Championship game to the Super Bowl. Is there a chance that Joe Burrow is actually the best quarterback in the league? And we're so fascinated with with all these other names that we we we, we kind of forget about him. You know what I mean? Like we think top top quarterbacks. Yes, he's one. We do mention he's one of the top quarterbacks, but I mean. Look, Deshaun. We, we was big on Deshaun Watson coming coming back from his his legal um issues. Two hundred thirty million dollar guarantee contract. Say he's worth every penny. Why? If he's worth two hundred thirty million dollars, how much is Joe Burrow worth? Three hundred? Three twenty? Three twenty five? You know, um, we we we're, we're we're up on Lamar Jackson. Saying, oh, he's be underpaid. He needs to be. He needs to get two thirty one. Okay, again, he do deserve to be a higher pay than than um Deshaun Watson. But it also goes with if you gonna give Watson t- two thirty, you gonna give Lamar Jackson two thirty one. How much are we getting, Joe Burrow? You know. Colin Murray got a high contract. Russell Wilson got a high contract. We made we 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 put um Josh Allen as Super Bowl MVP during the preseason. Um, what else, man? Who who else? Uh, who else? Who else that we we're talking some we talk about very highly. Some is some is is like okay. It's, it's relevant to talk about this player very highly. Jalen Hurts. It's relevant to talk about him as a high caliber quarterback because he because he's balling this year. Tour. Even even with his 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 concussion problems, he was balling. But if Tour was balling and Jalen Hurts was balling and Josh Allen was balling. And Lamar Jackson, before he got hurt, was balling. What's the adjective, the right adjective to say about Joe Burrow? Like, what's the right adjective if they balling? What is he? Joe Burrow is looking like the best quarterback in the league. I'm I'm going to say second best because I'm not ready to take that away from, um, from uh, Patrick Mahomes. But I'm telling you right now, if he beats Patrick Mahomes this weekend, this Sunday, oh my God, Patrick Mahomes would drop so hard. Just like the rest of them did. Russell Wilson dropped hard. Kyler Murray, he dropped so hard, he's in he's in he's in Japan right now. That's how hard he dropped. He's in Japan right now. Um we're we're still on Aaron Rodgers' watch, where's he gonna play? Where's he gonna play? Man, I'm I'm at that point where I'm about to say, who cares what Aaron Rodgers is about to play? Because you probably won your your only and your last and only Super, Super Bowl. Because even if you do make it to the Super Bowl, you most likely gonna have to go up against ba- the Bengals and Joe Burrow, all the Chiefs, and Patrick Mahomes. That's over. That's over for Pat, for um Aaron Rodgers winning Super Bowls. For um Tom Brady winning Super Bowls. The Rams should even got that Super Bowl. Great job for having Aaron Donald on your team. But Joe Burrow could have won that game. If if the Rams did not have Aaron Donald. I know you could say that about about any team, and guess what? You can't. Cause what if what if the Bills have Von Miller? You know what that lets me know? You need a high caliber, A plus plus, future Hall of Famer, defensive player on your team to stop Joe Burrow. And you know what? You wanna know something? The Chiefs do not got that player on their team. Do not have that player at all. Joe Burrow is three, is three and zero against Patrick Mahomes and these Chiefs since he's been drafted. Can he make it four and on Sunday? I don't know. 
I'll tell you right now, if he do, that's the best quarterback in the game right now. I don't hear nothing but no Aaron Rodgers. I don't hear nothing but no Tom Brady. I don't hear nothing about no Lamar Jackson, no Deshaun Watson, no Josh Allen. The only person I would want to hear in the same the same category of a Joe Burrow is Patrick Mahomes. Cause even though Patrick Mahomes, if, even though if Patrick Mahomes lose this game against Joe Burrow and these Bengals for the fourth time, Patrick Mahomes is still the MVP. He's he's going to get MVP. That man was unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm really looking forward to Bengals. Bengals Chiefs because one thing is that Arrowhead. I'm very happy about that. Don't want the idea of the game going to Atlanta. Is that Arrowhead? I'm happy about that. Another thing, another thing, man, do the Chiefs have a defensive player to stop Joe Burrow? Do Joe Burrow have a, a defensive player to stop Patrick Mahomes? This might be the opposite of, of Niners Cowboys. 1912, man, put a four, a four, um, in that one, 49 to 42. It could be a high scoring game because you got two high caliber quarterbacks that's here to make a point. And the point I'm trying to make is step aside, number two, I'm the best quarterback in the game. They both say I'm the best quarterback in the game. This coming Sunday, we're going to find out who he is. I missed out some details with that 49ers um, Cowboys game. I missed out on some, some, some details on that one. Um, I was so, you know, so excited of the, the defense of the 49ers because I truly underestimated them throughout the whole season. I failed to mention how did the Cowboys lose again? How did the Cowboys lose again? And everything I'm about to say is going to be an again after that because it's not the first time. It's not the first time. You know, so w what we're going to start with, Cowboys coaching staff. Once again, once again, you having game management problems. Once again, once again, sh uh, one of your, your main players, Schultz, I think I said his name right. Don't know the rules of when to stop the clock. Once again, your kicker, Brett Meyer, I don't know why he's still your kicker. You had a whole week to find another kicker. Miss another point after touchdown. What is going on with this guy? Like, like, when when players get get cut off of professional teams, do they call it unemployment? Like what's up with this guy? It, it's beyond you only got one job. It's basically you can't do your job right. You should have no job. You should have no job. Um, I mentioned this. Yes, this episode. I'll mention it. I'll mention it again. What's up with what, What's up with Zeke? Like, I mean, Paulin goes out with with a, with a broken leg in the second quarter. So basically, yes, your your backup running back just broke his leg. So your star power. Running back is going about to go about to get a game and and bust and bust shit up. Nope, did not happen. I don't know what's going on with Zeke, but Zeke is not the same.